since 2018, I've been navigating the world of FDM 3D printing, but now I'm taking my first steps into something entirely new to me, resin 3D printing. My gateway into this venture, the GTEC Alcaid resin 3D printer with washing station. As someone completely green to resin, my goal is to find a comprehensive package that simplifies this transition. Other than the items in their printer package, the only thing that I needed was to shop for personal protective equipment. I did plenty of reading on the topic of resin printing and most articles stress the importance of safety when dealing with resin. So I ordered nitrile gloves, eye protection, and a respirator. Unpacking the Alkaid, I was curious about how different resin printing would be compared to FDM. The Alkaid package, which includes a washing station, seemed well suited for someone new to resin printing like myself. This is an all-in-one solution, which was convenient, allowing me to focus on learning a new printing method without the hassle of additional setups. The setup process for the Alkaid was surprisingly simple. Despite expecting a complex transition from FDM to resin printing, I found the instructions clear and the steps easy to follow. However, it quickly became apparent that resin printing required a bit more direct handling and safety precautions than I was used to with FDM. Resin printing is much more simple on the front end, meaning setup, bed leveling, and printing, but a bit more complex on the back end, meaning the removal of supports in the process of washing the print and curing the print without making a mess. Embarking on my resin printing journey with the Alcade feels like starting a new hobby. The inclusion of a washing station in the package is a game changer, easing the post print cleanup and making the learning curve more manageable. Despite the simplicity of the printer setup, the real learning lies in the nuances of resin printing, such as exposure times and curing intricacies. As a newcomer to the magical world of resin 3D printing, the idea of creating something from nothing, more than a digital file and a pool of liquid resin seemed as fantastical as the realms of Middle Earth itself. Yet, here I am, embarking on a journey to print a Gandalf figurine using a resin printer. From selecting the right model to the final curing process, I'll guide you through each step of this adventure, including my decision to cure the print with supports intact to avoid a messy aftermath. Before diving into the printing process, it's essential to familiarize yourself with the tools of the trade. In my case, this included a resin printer, a washing station, and a curing station. A resin printer works by hardening liquid resin layer by layer with UV light to create a solid object. The washing station is used to clean the uncured resin off the printed object, and the curing station further hardens the print to ensure durability and stability. The quest began with choosing a Gandalf figurine model. As a fan of Tolkien's work, I wanted to bring a piece of Middle Earth into my home. After searching through various online repositories, I found a model that perfectly captured Gandalf's wise and majestic presence. Downloading the file was just like finding a hidden treasure, one that I couldn't wait to bring to life. I attempted to print it with my FDM printer a few years ago. The print failed a few times, and when I finally managed to print it completely, I destroyed the print while trying to remove the supports. So I decided this would be a great first print for the GTEC Alcade resin 3D printer. With the model selected, the next step was to prepare it for printing using slicing software. This software cuts the 3D model into thin horizontal layers and generates a printable file that the printer can understand. It was here that I learned about the importance of supports. Supports are temporary structures added to the model to prevent parts of it from collapsing during the printing process. Given Gandalf's intricate details, such as his flowing robes and pointy hat, supports were crucial. I added them, ensuring that every overhang had the necessary support while also considering how they would impact 
post-processing. Setting up the resin printer was a journey of its own. It involved leveling the build plate, filling the vat with resin, and ensuring the settings matched the needs of my model. I carefully poured the resin into the vat, marveling at its viscous consistency and how it promised to transform into something solid and intricate. Starting the print felt like casting a spell as the build plate descended into the vat of resin. The first layers of Gandalf began to take shape under the UV light. Watching the printer work was hypnotic, with each layer bringing me closer to holding a piece of Middle Earth in my hands. The printing process was lengthy, a true test of patience, but it allowed me to appreciate the complexity and precision of resin printing. After the printing was complete, Gandalf emerged from the resin, coated in a gooey layer of uncured resin. The washing station was where the magic of transformation continued. I carefully placed Gandalf in the washing station where a bath of IPA awaited to cleanse him of any uncured resin. This step was crucial for removing any excess material and ensuring the details of the model were preserved. Typically supports are removed before the final curing process. However, considering Gandalf's intricate details and my novice status, I opted to cure the print with the support still attached. My decision was driven by the desire to avoid a messy and potentially damaging process of removing the supports from such a delicate model. Placing Gandalf in the curing station, I watched as the UV light worked its magic, hardening the resin and solidifying his form. This approach, while unconventional, ensured that the supports could be removed more cleanly and safely afterward. With the curing process complete, it was time for the moment of truth. Removing the supports, armed with a pair of tweezers and a lot of patience, I carefully snipped away the supports, revealing the detailed figure of Gandalf beneath. The satisfaction of seeing the final product free from all of its scaffolding was nice. Gandalf stood proud, a testament to the journey from digital file to physical form. Printing a Gandalf figurine as a newbie to resin printing was an adventure filled with learning, challenges, and ultimately immense satisfaction. Each step from preparing the model to the final curing process taught me about the intricacies of 3D printing and the potential for creativity it offers. The decision to cure the print with supports on may not be conventional, but it underscored an important lesson. The path of learning is filled with choices, and sometimes taking the unconventional route can lead to success. As I look at Gandalf now, standing on my desk, I'm reminded of the magic of creation and the joy of bringing imagination to life. This journey has only fueled my desire to explore further the realms of resin 3D printing where each project is an adventure waiting to unfold. Moving from FDM to resin printing with the GTEC Alcade resin printer was a valuable learning process. The printer itself provided a comprehensive solution for someone new to resin including all the necessary tools to begin. This focus on simplicity and convenience was beneficial, allowing me to concentrate on the printing process rather than equipment details. For those considering a foray into resin 3D printing, especially for those with experience in FDM, the GTEC Alcade Resin 3D Printer with Washing Station is a practical choice. It offers ease of use for beginners and sufficient capabilities for producing high quality prints, appealing to a large range of users. As I explore resin printing further, I look forward to discovering what else can be achieved with this technology. The Alcade has made starting with resin 3D printing an accessible and manageable endeavor, encouraging more exploration in this area of 3D printing.